what is happening YouTube family welcome back to the channel today we're going to talk a little bit about the Cadillac so been doing some I guess you could call it restructuring around the house selling cars buying different cars trying to get rid of parts that I don't need uh, trying to make room basically for some of the projects that I want to do for the channel so uh, if you follow me you know I had a 2015 Malibu well I recently sold it to a friend of mine uh, she needed a good daily driver, and the car was uh, mechanically very sound, but it had been in a hailstorm, so the body wasn't in the best shape. Luckily, her husband works at a dealership, and they've got a PDR guy, so he's going to work on the dents on that car for her. So, now I'm dailying the Cadillac, sort of. So, the Cadillac has a few little issues here and there. Um, I have put a set of wheels on it. I lowered it. I put a good stereo in it stuff to make it more comfortable for me to drive every day so the biggest issue I'm having right now is in North Carolina it gets hot and the Sun is always out so yesterday for example it was 92 degrees and the Sun was out I got in the Cadillac to move it and I couldn't sit in here it was so hot black interior no tinted windows and the AC doesn't really blow that cold so what I'm gonna do today is try to charge the AC, make it blow a little bit colder, and I'm gonna see if there's a way that I can bypass the automatic heater controls, because right now you have auto, so it, you can't change it to vent or floor or defrost or anything like that. It's all automatic. So I'm going to see if I can make it blow out the vents and blow on high by maybe bypassing some things. So this car is really cool. Um, I bought it cheap. I bought it for 300 bucks from a guy that used to work for me who had to move back up north and he needed to leave the car here. So I gave him basically what he paid for it and then he didn't have to drag it back up north. Another issue with this car is sometimes the windshield wipers don't work. So I need to look into that. Unfortunately, you cannot find a wiper switch that goes on the steering column anymore. You can find a wiper motor so hopefully it's not the switch that's the issue. I can try them right now, and they happen to work. Let's see if I have washer. I do. So anyway, I wasn't really able to drive this car in the rain either because I didn't know if the windshield wipers were going to work or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to work. I gotta stop at the grocery store real quick and get some stuff for lunch. And this afternoon before I leave work, we'll do a quick walk around to the car and give you guys a better idea of what I'm gonna be daily driving from now on. Sounds good, doesn't it? Ah, uh, just kidding. So that's Blaine's Cadillac, a little bit more choppy than mine. See if he does anything weird when he leaves. Nope. So anyway, uh, back to daily driver status. So this car, LT1 powered, uh, 5.7 liter, 4L60 transmission, and it is gonna remain this way for as long as I own it, uh, assuming nothing goes wrong with it. If the engine messes up, might do a mild build on that. Transmission, probably stock rebuild. So the AC is pumping right now. It's The real feel is 99 degrees outside, so I'm gonna do this quick walk around to show you guys the daily. And then I'm gonna hop in the car and head to the house. So when I first bought it, it was on the stock 16 inch wheels, I think they were. So we swapped those out for 20 inch US mags, uh, the polished and black. And we just put some cheapy tires on it. It actually rides really good. In the front of the car, I cut the springs to lower it a little bit. In the rear, I removed the spring isolators to lower it a little bit. The original plan was to bag this car, but more projects, more projects got in the way. So no bags for this thing right now, although I'd still like to do it one day. In the trunk, we have two SCAR Audio uh, EVL12s with our Optima battery in the back here and our SCAR Audio 2000 watt D-Class amplifier. So this thing purrs like a kitten. It really runs well for having 170,000 miles on it. Inside the car is a black interior as well, which is not good when it's this hot outside. But for the most part, it's all there. Of course, the dash is cracked. 
and it actually feels kind of cool in there. So I'm gonna hop in this thing and head to the house. Just wanted to show you guys what I'm gonna be daily driving from now on. And uh, hopefully, now that I'm getting rid of some cars, I'll have more time to work on projects. So the Buick, I've got some plans for that. The Trailblazer, I've got some plans for that as well. So this weekend, I'm gonna be working on a few little things out in the shop, and then it's gonna be back on projects. Luckily, my uh, shop at the house has air conditioning. So do we here at RPM, which makes it really nice for working when it's this hot out. So that'll be it for this video guys i appreciate you watching don't forget you can always find high psi tv merchandise in the description below there's a link to my website and don't forget always follow me on instagram i try to post up there daily stuff i'm doing here at rpm and stuff i'm doing at the house thanks for watching we'll see you next time